Alright guys, welcome back to another show. Um, I wanted to do a video on um, the iPhone 12 Pro. Now I upgraded my phone from the iPhone uh, 7 Plus, which has, you know, lasted me probably about, I don't know, three or four years, um, which has been great. You know, I've been doing a lot of my uh, vlogs and stuff like that using the um, selfie camera and the, the onboard microphone in all my videos. So now I just wanted to see what the iPhone 12 Pro has to offer. Now I'm yet to go out and use the, uh, the front facing camera and everything. I think uh, I'm, you know, I'm expecting better things since it's uh, the 12 Pro and everything and it should be updated. Um, I think it's a 1080p or something like that there, uh, front facing camera. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Correct me down below. If I am, let me know. Um, but I wanted to test out the cameras on it. Now, not just, you know, during the day or anything like that. I wanted to t test out it at night with the low light capability of it using this uh, LiDAR system. Don't know why it's on that LiDAR, I don't know, whatever. The LiDAR system. And uh, yeah, um, I'll, as, as normal, I'll run the, uh, images at the end of the show but um uh the word there was two that i was very happy with um which is this one uh this one it's like um it's like a scene out of a, a movie you know a, a movie still um it's got that eeriness to it and everything so i really like that one and you know what um the quality of the image and what it done um it really brought it back you know what the way i wanted it to uh portray if you wanted to say that. Now I did edit these as best as I could to make them look a little bit better. Um, so the other uh, image was of the town um, itself in uh, where I live in Macclesfield. So this was, it was low light, but at the same time there was lots of street lights, lots of, you know, those fairy lights in the trees and stuff like that. But at the same time, it did give back you know, what I hoped for. Now, in the rest of the other images, eh, they were okay, you know, they were okay. Uh, I would I would suggest um, anybody that's doing, like, uh, using this, this uh, LiDAR system and they want to take photos, you know, during the night and stuff like that, you need a tripod. You definitely need a tripod because in simple terms, what this LiDAR system is, they're just taking long exposures. That's it. It's just a long exposure because you can see it um, whenever you're taking the photo, it tells you like three seconds, four seconds, you know, and you can you can zoom it out right up as high as you want, like to 30 seconds, I think it is, um, if you want to get some night photography. I did try and get some uh, night, night shots off the sky, but um, where I was, uh, it was like, it was to me it was dark, to the eye it was like pitch black, but obviously to the camera and the, the LiDAR system, it was like, uh, you know, there was just too much, too much um, house lights and street lights and everything, and I managed to capture all that. Um, yeah, you'll see it later on. And um, there was another, another one, where was it now? Yes, it was this image. Um, this image, like, it must have been the only street in the town that didn't have a street light or any type of lights, um, bar the one on either end. Now, if you were to look at this with the naked eye, everything was pitch black. You couldn't even see uh, the mash sign um, on the wall there. You couldn't even see that. So, and I held it there, I think it was like for three seconds, I held the camera still as best as I could. And you know what, it brought back a lot, a lot of uh, detail, uh, well, as much as I could anyway. Um, but at the same, you know, it's really good. It's really good at what it does. But are you going to put these up on your on your website and uh, say how great they are? Mm, no, you're not, you're not. You know, for the, the holiday maker and everything like that, I think, yeah, they're brilliant. Um, you know, if you're at a party or anything like that, or you're in the living room with a nice low light, you know, it's gonna bring back nice and bright uh, images for you. Um, 
yeah. So, yeah, it's good. I'm just going to leave it like that. It's good. All right, guys, so my shout out this week is to Andrew Walton Photography. Now, Andrew, I know you're going to be watching this at some stage, so here's a little shout out for you. Um, for the people that don't know Andrew, he um, does a lot of tips and tricks and everything. And also, which is great, is that he reviews like a lot of retro cameras and, and uh, things like that. Um, now, he does go out in his vlogs, you know, basically doing everything, um, you know, on-scene photos, bird photography, you know, he also does factory resets on other cameras, like the list goes on and on and on. It is phenomenal. So head on over there, subscribe, like, comment, share, do everything you want to do. And uh, yeah, let's show some love over there. And while we're on the topic of showing some love, Hit that subscribe button on my channel and like, comment, share. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the show, I'll see you in the next one. So, good luck to you.